Hi. Welcome to the budget analysis. Today we are going to talk four things in this session. What exactly a budget means? What kind of impact it has on the debt market? What will be the impact of the budget on the equity market? The changes that has happened on the direct tax from an individual perspective. So let us understand what is the union budget all about. The union budget clearly spells out what will be india's earning and how much they will spend where will they spend for india's growth now india is a country where our earning is lower than our expenditure this gap is called fiscal deficit how will the government fund this fiscal deficit decides the outlook on the debt market the money that it spends towards the growth of the economy decides the health of the equity market so india had two things to balance fiscal deficit and ensure that the india growth story is not impacted let me take you through few numbers the budget forecasted a nominal gdp growth rate of about 10 and a half percent now given the current india's growth that number looks quite credible the revenue receipt is expected to grow by 12 percent this projection also looks very fair now what is very good to note that the revenue expenditure is growing by only 1.2 percent this is got reduced mainly by cutting subsidy in food and fertilizers what is very enlightening capital expenditure is expected to grow by 37% ye budget mein consumption jo hota hai consumption revenue expenditure bahut kam hai capital expenditure bahut zyada hai to ye bahut hi ek acha uh, uh, budget hai so let me now come back to the impact on bond market जो नेट बोरोइंग गवर्नमेंट ने अनाउंस किया है वो है 11.8 लाख क्रोर्स हमारा मानना है कि ये जो बॉन्ड मार्केट के लिए एक बहुत ही पॉजिटिव मूव है हमारा जो अभी जो बॉन्ड मार्केट आउटलुक है कि गोइंग फॉरवर्ड इन थे सिक्स नाइन मंथ्स और परहैप्स वर्स्ट सिचुएशन एफ आई द इंटरेस्ट रेट कट कैन स्टार्ट एंड इंडिया will front lead because india's situation is better than the globe situation now let us understand the impact on the equity market the government has given a strong impetus to capital expenditure by increasing it to almost 10 lakh crore so i think this is a great move because money spent in infrastructure will lead to the growth of the economy with help in creating jobs for uh, the youth i think it's a very well directed budget there were quite a few changes on the personal income tax level the government intent from this budget is quite clear that they want the people to migrate to the new tax regime where the taxes there are no deductions and the taxations are very very clear so the new slab structure they've introduced which says if you earn up to 7 lakh rupees there is zero taxation however if your earning is above 7 lakh then the applicable tax will be as per the tax bracket 0 to 3 lakh rupees the taxes will be nil 3 to 6 lakh will attract 5% tax 6 to 9 lakh will be taxed at 10%, 9 to 12 lakh will be taxed at 15%, 12 to 15 lakh rupees will be taxed at 20% and 15 lakh and above will be taxed at 30%. There are three important changes from taxing investment. The first being insurance premium other than ULIP of greater than 5 lakh will get tax and the income from that will get added to your annual income and you will have to pay tax the second change is 
the income from market linked debenture which was classified as long term capital gains will be moved to short term cap capital gains and will be taxed at the respective tax uh, rate from a real estate perspective you could actually sell a property and invest the proceed in buying another property and you could save tax capital gain tax under section 5454f from this year onwards this financial year onwards any property that is over 10 crores and above will be compulsory uh, be a part of your long term capital gains and you cannot save uh, long term capital gains by investing the proceed in another property under section 5054f i hope you liked it thank you so much stay tuned subscribe to us to see our videos often